born to work. No, I wasn't born to work. They denied my application as someone that is non-binary to use this to not listen. I'm misgendered at work, so I left. Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about people from my generation who go on TikTok and go on a rant about how they just can't handle it anymore and they shouldn't have to work. So we're going to be taking a look at some of those videos. But before we start, please make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Starting with a video of a man sharing a day in his life, which many people say is absolutely tragic and meaningless. This is the day in the life of a middle-class man. <laughs> like, everything is normal so far, except the way he puts the laptop into the bag. He's like, meditating or something, but everything else? That was it? That was the video. I will say, I think it's also the music that he chose. I bet if you put this video with different music, like uh, something more upbeat, it would be fine. <laughs> So this man gets to go out and eat, I think twice. The word privilege is thrown around a lot nowadays, but this guy's privileged, okay? Anyone who has a similar setup to his, they're privileged. Seems he's living in a nice place. I mean, this is already so much more than so many people on this planet have. The poor guy, he has to work. I'm non-binary, I go by they, them. And I work in a store that is pretty much all women. So whenever they're like addressing us or when they're talking, they're always like, hey ladies. So I've taken it upon myself as someone that is non-binary to use this uh, to not listen. Hey ladies, let's like get to work. I will do none of it. Those people tend to look a certain way. This guy looks calm. He looks like he's organized. This is already a life so many people would kill to have. I just think it is so spoiled when the people who just simply don't want to work, and I'm not talking about those who have an insane schedule, they can't have a work-life balance, and they have legitimate complaints about their schedule and their life and how much they have to work to support themselves and their families. I'm talking about your average Gen Z girl who goes on TikTok and starts having a meltdown because she has to work like at all. Someone said, wow, this is the emptiest life without any real purpose I've seen in a long time. People are saying he's stuck in the matrix says connor hubbard 29 shown with his high school sweetheart wife on a recent vacation to the turks and caicos islands so he even gets to go on these vacations there's a false reality portrayed on today's social media of what is considered normal and that is in order to be successful you have to be your own boss or that you can get rich quick he said a hundred percent true. There are certain influencers who sell them the idea that you have to be your own boss. If you're not making this amount of money by this age, then you're stuck in the matrix. So much so that many children at this point are stressing, have a lot of anxiety over that at such a young age when they could be going outside and playing with their friends, worrying about what kids should be worrying about instead of starting your own business at like 10. It's 3 a.m. on a Sunday night. All my friends are getting drunk, getting invited to parties and losing their virginity. And I spent all night working on my businesses. But just watch. In a couple of months, when I'm gonna be chilling in Dubai and living my dream life, you guys are gonna call me lucky. Just watch. And what I'm saying is that you can still be successful and still live a happy life with a normal job, working normal hours, and living a normal life. I think there's two extremes. So there are these people who say there's only one way to be successful, and that's a problem. And then there's the other extreme that tell you, and it's mostly women, the other side's mostly men, and the women's side, it's saying, I don't have to work. And these are usually the commies. Nothing will make you agree with Mao Zedong and what he did to all those old mother quicker than working any tech job or in a place where it's majority senior citizens. Like, holy fuck, I was cooking. Kai was spitting. Telling me that I have to wake up at the butt crack of dawn every single day, go and work somewhere and do that five times a week? No, like that's sick like you guys are mentally ill let me just get my iphone real quick and position it next to my starbucks i hate working i don't want to contribute nothing to society i wasn't born to work no i wasn't born to work i mean you were obviously born to eat a lot but how do you eat though like you have to pay you have to work to pay unless you're gonna be a leech and expect someone else to give you money is the red for communism too everyone else has to work but you don't need it you're too pretty started to realize there is more to discover 
more adventures to take, more to life than mindless working that only benefits rich white men who have lied and stole. It's not even white people who make the most money in America, it's Asian Americans. Imagine this is the same video, but it's like, just to benefit the, the rich Asian men. You wouldn't. There's a quote I love, and it's how you do anything is how you do everything. So you really should be trying your best with even the smallest things, and that's why when we had the quiet quitting, right, and have the quiet quitters who are mostly Gen Z and saying, we're just gonna do the bare minimum, then you're gonna have to expect a certain kind of result. I applied for a job at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago and they denied my application. They couldn't even call me. They just sent me some automated email. My tattoos are such a defining factor for me getting a job or not. So she has two demonic tattoos on her? Literally some of the most smart, intelligent people I've ever met are people with tattoos and piercing. Of course, the face is probably not the best place to get a tattoo if you want to find a job, but then also you chose demons? Couldn't you put like a cute puppy or something if you're gonna be doing that? F you America for making me pay or for making me work four f***ing jobs, four jobs while I'm in college in rural f Tennessee and I can barely pay my own f***ing rent and I... And I'm taking 19 credit hours on top of those four jobs. I understand why she's frustrated, but why record this? Think about your future boss. You're putting in all that work to get a good job, and then you're putting that out on the internet. And I still can't graduate on time, and I still can't graduate early, even though I'm taking 21 credit hours next semester! Why not compose yourself first? Why not have the meltdown in private? think everything through, and then if you want to discuss the problem that not just you, many students are facing, you can do it when you're calmer. Because I'm sure that's not how you act all the time. It's not f***ing fair. It's not f***ing fair anymore. It's never been fair, not in my lifetime. And will it ever be fair? No, because I'm a woman in America. God. You kind of lost me there. What does your gender have anything to do with it? Just want to live in peace, America. And I will one day, probably somewhere f***ing else. Anyways, look how cute my nails are. I do want to work. It helps give you purpose. People in my generation who went to college, who did everything they were supposed to do, worked hard in school, went to a good college, graduated with their degree, yada yada, got their first job, and they can't afford to live. Everything is so expensive right now and wages are not keeping up with the cost of living. That is why my generation is frustrated. It's hard for Gen Z, especially when they are taking out those loans to afford basic necessities. This is true. And a lot of people blame late stage capitalism when in reality it's Bidenomics. And I don't think we should be quick to call all of them lazy. There are of course those who are lazy and who just don't wanna work ever, even though they can, they're able to. Boredom can be a very dangerous thing. That's when we see a lot of these people creating all sorts of different identities because they have nothing better to do. I got misgendered at work on Wednesday um, by someone that has been corrected before and it just hit me hard. So I left, I went home. Um, and since then, I have been spiraling. Glamorizing, rotting in bed. Bed rotting. I didn't know it had a name for it. I just thought it was like just depression. And I'm sure you've been doing this too. It's a form of self-care. You shouldn't do it too often because apparently it can be laziness but there are those who are working very hard but prices are just out of control i have to work 40 hours a week just so i can have a place to live 40 hours a week makes me two thousand dollars a month my rent is 1660. and of course with college the cost of attending is only going up and there's no guarantee of finding a job after you graduate explain to me how i have two degrees oh and a certificate a little extra right i'm trying to apply for jobs right now and um the thing is is that the only person I have responding to me is a man from a tech um, from a tech company saying, "Hey, you want to answer some customer service problems?" So, no offense, but I'm a little more qualified than to just, just to be sitting around answering your customer service call. Looking at him, and I'm, I'm kind of wondering. I'm like, hmm, what was this for again? Oh, I don't know. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Also remember to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And you can follow me on my other social media platforms that is in the description. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.